Hello and welcome to the TomCast. I'm Tom and let's get started. So first thing I wanted to uh, direct your attention to is my hair is shorter, which is great. I'm very happy about it. Uh, it's been a little too long for a little too long, and so it's nice to finally get it trimmed down. My wife very, uh, very kindly and graciously cuts my hair, and I thought it would be kind of fun uh, to film it and speed it up and just watch it, because I've never seen my hair get cut before. So you guys get to share in that with me. So I've been reading some comics again. Uh, I'm finally back into reading... The Sandman, uh, which I have borrowed volumes like six through nine from a friend like six months ago. I'm a bad borrower. I think I've talked about this before on the show. Um, it takes me a long time to start reading stuff. Once I start reading it, I will start moving through it at a good pace. I've been, I've been reading some more comics again. Of course, I'm always reading web comics like freaking every day of the week. But there's been something that I've been trying to more acutely pay attention to uh, while I am reading comics, and that is pacing. What all is happening on a page, or m more than that really, what all is happening on a panel. If you've been reading Next to recently, you'll know that this latest chapter has pretty much been one big long fight scene so far, which is great. And it's been a lot of fun for me because fight scenes are really challenging. You know, you've got characters that are physically interacting with each other, and so proportion matters a little bit more, um, you know, natural blocking matters a little bit more than if you've just got characters standing next to each other and not physically interacting with one another. So it's been a lot of fun to draw, but I also sort of worry about pacing with scenes like this because you've got page after page after page without much dialogue, mostly it's just action which is exciting, but because of how I present my webcomic, uh, you know, one page at a time, if someone is actually reading my comic as the pages come out, it's not going to take them but a moment to look over the page, and then they got to wait a couple more days. And that, I could see being kind of frustrating. Now, as someone who really enjoys reading webcomics, I get it. You know, when I read a webcomic, if, if I come to a page, you know, if I'm caught up and I come to a page where there's not a lot of dialogue or there's just, you know, some visual setups, it's only going to take me a moment to read the page, but I get it. It's like, it's one, like, snapshot of a larger story that hasn't continued yet. And that's just sort of how webcomics work. So if you don't like that, you kind of have to just, like, wait until the chapter is done or until a larger bulk of pages is built up. So it's not something that necessarily bothers me, but I guess it's something that because I'm dealing with a scene that I know will be a fast read, uh, you know, it's a little frustrating for me drawing it and putting it out. It's like I'm barely moving the story forward. It's just a couple more panels of these guys fighting, you know? Like, it's important and I want to see that. I want to show what these characters are able to do. But it's just like, man, I really want more to be happening in these pages. I really want to, like, inject more story because I don't feel like I'm actually telling much of a story right now. But it's important, and it is fun in a, in a different way. Because of that scene, I've been very conscious about uh, how much uh, story, how much actual story gets put into each panel, gets put into each page. Uh, and I've just been kind of noticing how different creators do that differently. Um, I just think that's kind of interesting. I feel like, for my own part, even when I'm not doing a fight scene, uh, but when I'm doing something that's more dialogue-driven and it actually feels more like the story is being moved along with it, uh, even there, usually I'll only have, like, two or three sentences per panel. And I've been noticing that there are a lot of comics that I read where they'll do a lot more dialogue per panel, uh, which is kind of interesting. Now, I often say that I model my comics off of newspaper comics. So, you know, like three to five panels per page, and you've only got, you know, that much dialogue. Usually you don't want to put huge text walls in there because you're just sort of chunking along at three to five panels per page, 
and you want it to be a quick read. Like, and that's, that's the goal, is that someone would read my comic all at once, eventually. It's cool that people read it page by page, and I read a lot of comics like that page by page. You read newspaper comics like that page by page. But if you read the whole thing all in one go, it's a very quick and easy read. And I like that. I'm okay with that kind of being my goal. But there are definitely a lot of comics that put a lot more panels on each page, and that even comics that put, you know, like three times the number of panels that I will put on a page, you know, more like 9 to 12 to 15 even, um, they'll still have a lot more dialogue in each of those panels than I'm used to. Now, reading The Sandman, I think actually The Sandman's pacing is maybe a little closer to mine, because each panel really just has sort of one thought, maybe two. You know, usually there are some panels where people are interacting and you'll get a little back and forth uh, from them on the same panel, but generally as a conversation between characters progresses, you'll change the angle, you'll look at this character, you'll look at this character, which is something that I do a lot more of. I don't really want to just sit on one scene and have it be that, okay, these two guys are just standing across from each other having this conversation. Uh, I would rather, you know, kind of show more of the scenery and draw different stuff. Um, but the downside to that is that it takes longer to finish that conversation. Instead of just having one panel where it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, move on to the next panel, uh, you know, I'm going to break that into like three or four different panels. It's just always felt natural to me. But anyway, I, there's not really a big question. It's just something that I've noticed recently. Just a, just a bit of a muse today. Um, I'm excited uh, with how this chapter has been progressing, and uh, and I'm excited. I am excited to be done doing a fight scene. Fight scenes are great. This one's not done yet. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll get you guys another video this coming week because I'm one behind again. So keep your stick on the ice, and I'll see you next time.